Senator Worker, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Secretary Dalton, you answered uh, a standard question that the chair asks every nominee about timely responses to questions for the record and also other inquiries. Um, I have a letter from you here dated August 1st, thanking me for my letter of March 15. So um, I wrote you um, in consultation with other members of the committee and staff on March 15th. So it's April, May, June, July, uh, and um, uh, half uh, and uh, half of July. Then that long to get me a letter dated August 1st. You consider that a timely response? Thank you, Member Wicker. I take my responsibilities as Senate confirmed official uh, very seriously, and that includes providing uh, you and other members of Congress with a timely response uh, for the letter in question, um, as I described to, to the chairman. Well, okay, um, well, if you will, don't, you don't have to repeat what, what you said, because I have a very little time. Let me just say, I don't consider that a timely response. And, and also, it was an inaccurate response. It says in paragraph three, a decision on the disposition of the remaining materials will be made in accordance with applicable law and policy. Um, we considered that such an unsatisfactory answer that the entire uh, Republican membership of this committee sent uh, a letter uh, directly to the Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, um, and, and we didn't wait forever to get that letter done either. I'll, later on that month, we sent the letter. And in response to that, we find out that, it, that on August 1st, when you wrote the letter and said a decision will be made, the decision had actually been made. And um, title to the property was transferred to Iron Planet, which is a, a broker that sells off uh, excess property by the end of April 2023. Now, now, we wrote you on March 15, and some month and a half later, when perhaps this decision could have been stopped, uh, the somewhere in the department, the decision was made to transfer these already built portions of the wall to a third party to auction off at pennies on the dollar. Do you concede that the, that the statement you made in your letter about a decision going to be made, will be made, was inaccurate? Senator, the August letter was based on the information collected from other components across the Department of Defense, and it was the best available information well, that we had who gave you a, Who gave you incorrect information? I'd like to know. It, it was uh, drawn from several components across the department uh, to include the Defense Logistics Agency, the Department of the Army, Acquisition and Sustainment. There are a number of components uh, that have roles to play in this matter, Senator. Well, you know, th this is actually emblematic of the way this committee, min minority or majority, um, has been treated, and members of the House and Senate have been treated during this administration. Um, a, a lengthy, lengthy time to answer a question. And of course, the, the, the chair's standard questions say timely, but uh, that many months to answer this, to tell us that a decision is still uh, going to be made. We find out that, that a month and a half after we brought this to your attention, they had time enough to then make a decision to sell these valuable portions of the border wall um, for pennies on the dollar. Uh, to me, it's unsatisfactory. And, and it's, just like the, um, it's just like the way your department and your office did with regard to the Chinese spy balloon. You said uh, you take your oversight responsibilities seriously. And you, in, after our letter, you entered into this long fact-finding process. Uh, it doesn't appear that you did that with regard to all of the questions uh, regarding NORAD's lack of established identification, characterization, and handoff procedures. And so uh, my time has expired here, but I, I just find 
your performance in your previous role so unsatisfactory that, uh, that I have real doubts that it's going to get uh, any better in an enhanced role? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Worker. Uh, Senator Shaheen, 